आई एस टी वी प्रेजेंस इन एसोसिएशन विद धनमंजूरी कम्युनिटी कॉलेज दी एम यूनिवर्सिटी इम्फा लॉन्सिंग सीरीज ऑफ एजुकेशनल प्रोग्राम रिकॉर्डेड ऑनलाइन क्लासेस फॉर अंडर ग्रेजुएट एंड पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट स्टूडेंट्स बाय टीचर्स फ्रॉम वेरियस कॉलेज एंड यूनिवर्सिटीज ड्यूरिंग दिस कोविड नाइन्टीन लॉकडाउन एवरी डे ऑन आई एस टी वी नॉन इन एट पी एम From 24th May 2020 onwards, what's for that? Only on IHTV Nongin. Good morning, students. In the last class, we have discussed about programs, flowcharts, and algorithms. Today. As a continuation, we'll be discussing about operators and expressions which are used in C. Okay, so expressions are the basic unit of evaluation in C. Okay, expressions have a value of a particular type. Consider the last program to find out the circumference of a circle. Here, in this, this this is an example of expression in C. Okay, so. Expressions are formed by uh, connecting different data items like variables or constants by using operators. Okay, then what is operator? An operator is a symbol which is used in C, which tells the compiler to perform some mathematical or logical task. Okay, so C provides various or C provides provides a rich number of various mathematical and logical operators. Okay. For example, this statement tells that this this statement tells the compiler that first you have to add the value which is stored in A and B, then assign the result to this C. Okay. Next we will go to different type of operators in C. Okay. First one is arithmetic operator. We have eight arithmetic operators. First one is addition operator, subtraction operator. मल्टीप्लीकेशन ऑपरेटर डिविजन ऑपरेटर और मोडुलो ऑपरेटर नेक्स्ट इज इंक्रीमेंट ऑपरेटर देन डिक्रीमेंट ऑपरेटर देन यूनारी माइनस ओके बिफोर दिस आई विल इंट्रोड्यूस यू अबाउट ऑपरेटर्स एंड ऑपरेंस ओके सपोज द लास्ट एग्जांपल ए इक्वल सी इक्वल टू ए प्लस बी हियर दिस दिस टू सिंबल्स आर नोन एज ऑपरेटर्स एंड द डेटा आइटम्स इन विच ऑन विच दिस Operators act upon are known as operands. Okay, these are all operands. And de depending upon the number of op operands on which an operator act upon, these operators can be of type unary, binary, or ternary. Okay, if if an operator takes two operands, then it is binary. If an operator takes one operand, then it is unary. If an operator takes three operand, then it is ternary. For example, this addition operator takes two operand. Therefore, this is this addition operator is binary operator. Let's come to arithmetic operators. Okay, there are eight arithmetic operators in C. Okay, first one is plus. For example, if we have two variables a, two integer variables a and b, which have value ten and three. A plus B means add these two two values, so two variables. Then it will return thirteen. Okay. Likewise, subtraction, multiplication, and division is same as addition. Okay. Means A minus B will return the value three. Not that this a a a, a divided by b this will return only three, because this is these two variables are of type integer, so the result will also be in integer. The decimal part will be trun truncated. Okay, this operator returns the remainder after integer division. Okay, so a modulo b will equal to one. Okay, and this is known as in increment operator. This is known as decrement operator, and this is known as unary minus. 
this operator increase the value of an integer by one and this operator de decrease the value of an integer by one and this negates the some quantity okay for example if a is 10 then a plus plus is equal to 11 note that this is this plus plus operator is unary operator because it takes only one operand okay a minus minus will be equal to 9 okay minus a will be equal to minus 10 and one more thing this unary operator plus plus or minus minus can be can be put here also and can be put here also but they have different meaning okay for example if i is equal to 10 suppose if we are we are encounter this statement a equal to i plus plus or i is equal to 10 and we are encountered this plus plus i okay this statement is equivalent to a is equal to i and then i is equal to i plus 1 okay and this statement is equivalent to i is equal to i plus 1 and a is equal to i it means that whenever this plus plus operator is in the right side of this operand then the whole eva expression is evaluated first after that we have to we increase this this variable if this plus plus is in the left side of this o operand then first we have to perform this addition and after that we have to perform this expression evaluate this expression okay next is re relational operators there are six operators in re relational operators okay first one is the equality operator it checks whether the value of two operands are same or not okay if the value of the two operands are same then it will return true suppose in this case a since the value of these two operands are not the same it will return false okay this this operator is known as not equal to operator this operator returns the value true whenever the value of two operands are not equal therefore this will return true and this operator will return true whenever the operand on the left side is greater than the operand on the right side okay otherwise it falls same thing happens in this this also this is less than this is less than or equal to operator and this is greater than or equal to operator okay no less less than or equal to operator next logical operator there are three operators in logical operator okay first one is known as logical n second one is known as logical or and third one is known as logical not this operator returns the value true if both the oper operands are non-zero means if both the oper operands are not false okay and this operator returns the value true if any of the operand is non-zero and this this operator reverses reverse the logical state of an operand okay for example here the operands are this okay this this is a is greater than b is true okay while b is equal to a which is not true these operands are and this operand is true and this this is false so logical n will return the value false okay however if this was true uh, if this was logical or then this will return true okay and in other case if if this was the case then this this is false so the while we applying this logical note to this whole expression then it will, it will return true okay next is assignment operators 
First one is known as assignment operator. It it assigns the way. this takes the form this c equal to a. Okay. It assigns the value which is stored in this right operand to this value c. Okay, means to the right operand. Okay. And second one. Suppose if we encounter like this a plus is equal to b. This is equal equivalent as a is equal to a plus b. It means that you have to add the value of b to this a, and after that you have to assign the result to this value a. Okay. Same case in if this was minus, then you have to subtract the value of b from a, and then assign the value assign the result to this a. Okay. Means. Okay, same thing happen for all, all these things also. Okay, for example, a this will return the value a is equal to a by b means a is equal to three. Okay, next is bitwise operator. Here we have five operators. First one is known as bitwise and Second is known as bitwise or oh, I skip one operator. This one is known as bit, bitwise XOR. XOR. Okay. This this is bit, bitwise or this is, this is bitwise and and this is left shift operator. This one is known as right shift operator. This is known as logic, bitwise complement operator. These operators operate bit by bit and functions bitwise. Okay, for example, bitwise means in binary format. Okay, the binary equivalent of this a and b are a is equal to ten in in binary format is it is equal to one zero I think one zero. Okay, and then b is equal to zero zero one one. Okay, then if We have to calculate this a and b. It will return bitwise. We have to perform bitwise and okay. So one zero is zero. Zero zero is zero. One one is one. Zero one is zero. Which means two. Okay. A or b. This will return one zero one one. Okay. Which is equal to Eleven. Okay. And then a x or b. X or operator returns the value one whenever one of the one of the bit is one. Okay. That means first one is one zero. This is one. This is uh, no. This is zero. And this is one. Okay, the binary equivalent is nine. Okay. Next is left shift shift operator. This means shift the value of a one bit left. Okay, means. Suppose it was like that, then we have to shift this value to till this. Okay, so it will return the value zero 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 one zero one zero zero. Okay, find out the binary equivalent. Okay, uh, decimal equivalent. Like this, we have to find out this. We have to find out this, and we have to find out the Complement also. It will return minus eleven. Okay. Fine. You have to find why. Find why. This is minus eleven. Okay. Next is conditional operator. Condi 
position operators takes the form this expression one no interrogation sign then expression two colon sign then expression three first it will evaluate the this value expression value of expression one okay if this is true then we have to evaluate this expression two means if this is true then evaluate expression two otherwise if it was it is false then ex evaluate the value of expression three okay and besides these operators c pro c provides various library functions okay like sine cosine square root okay random okay besides all the all those binil billion functions c provides various library functions which are which which will be used in various mathematical calculations okay actually this these functions are not a part of c however various or most of the c implementations include them as uh, library functions okay for a complete list of these functions you have to consult one reference book okay that's all for today so today we have discussed about expressions and operators okay so we'll continue on further topics on next class okay thank you ISTV presents in association with Dhanamanjuri Community College, DM University, Impha, launching a series of educational programs recorded online classes for undergraduate and postgraduate students by teachers from various colleges and universities. During this COVID-19 lockdown, every day on ISTV Nongin, 8 p.m., from 24th May 2020 onwards, what's potent? Only on IHTV Nongin. <laughs>